Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use two macro recorders at the same time, one to fix the other. As you can see here, I have a macro that I've already created that has 7,945 actions. It takes place over the course of about an hour and 46 minutes. Right now, we're at a playback speed of 100. So what that means is I've created a macro that loops to create views and generate views on different websites. I've given it labels so I can track easily, as you can see here. I'm tracking between different browsers that I use. I talk about moving between different files like Excel here and then whatever browser I have open. But when I increase the playback speed to anything over 100, which is what I want to do, I want to have it up around 150. I notice that I'm not able to capture certain actions on my macro. In other words, when I do a certain thing like control find or control V or whatever it might be, I'm going too fast and I'm not capturing what I want to capture. So I could do two things. I could slow it down so it captures the action that I need to capture. But that's not ideal because I really want this to run faster than an hour and 46 minutes. You can see here, it's already down to an hour and 12. And ideally, I could have it up to 200% speed. And that would give us a loop just under an hour at 53 minutes. So what I want to do here is I want to use a different macro recorder, this one called the mouse key recorder, to come in and make changes, in this case, add wait times to my existing macro. This would take me a long time if I had to do it manually because there's so many different places that I need to add new wait times. But if I just create a macro using this macro recorder, I can then manipulate and change this macro recorder. And so I've been able to find exactly where I need to add those weights. And it starts at 760 milliseconds is where I do a control find. And then I automatically do a backspace and that's where I get in trouble. So what that would look like is I would be here, I would do this, I'd hit backspace to clear out whatever my text is, and then I would insert the text from Excel here. And I'll get into more advanced videos about how to do this later. I need you guys to subscribe to this. I need you to like these videos in order to continue doing this. But I've created a system to, to cruise through five different browsers and watch videos, gain view time, and actually increase your, your following here on YouTube and other channels as well. So here, here we have one macro programmed to insert wait times at certain intervals. And the wait time that I'm gonna be adding is 901 milliseconds after the control and then after the backspace. So the action is mouse click here, control find, wait, then backspace to clear this out and then control V to insert whatever text I've copied here from Excel. So if I did this manually, it would take a while but I've created a macro using the mouse key recorder to manipulate the macro that I have here with the macro recorder itself. I've included links down below in this video so you can actually access both. Uh, there are free versions of them. I recommend you take a look at the free versions and then use the links to get the more advanced versions so it can be a lot easier for you. So I'm gonna take a look here. I've already added the 901 there. I've added it there, so I'm gonna find next. And here I haven't added it yet. So I'm gonna go back because the way I have this set up is I, I start here and then I'm gonna hit play. And you'll see once I hit play, it automatically goes in and changes the other macro. And the way I do it is I find 760. Okay, so I must have done something between when I started this and when I stopped it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one now just so you can see. And this is why we create these videos so you guys can see how I do it. And we'll go back a few, just to make sure that we haven't added the 901. Okay, so it's right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this 901. I'm gonna go to the next one to see if it's already there. It's not, so I'm gonna to go to previous. I'm then gonna hit record. This asks me if I wanna append the previous recording or start a new one. And I wanna start over and clear the current macro, so I'm gonna hit yes. My first action is gonna be find the next time. I'm gonna click on here. 
I'm gonna go down two, three, hit paste, go down one more, hit paste, and I'm done. I'm gonna do it one more time, just because this macro recorder only allows you to do 15 repetitions. So if I do it two times, then I'll have 30 for each one. So I'm gonna do find next, I'm gonna go down three, I'm gonna go down one, and I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna look at the repetitions, I have it set at 15, speed one, which is what, it, it's ideal, you can do one or two. Two is normal, actually rather it says here, one is normal, two is double. So I like to keep it at one, and I'm gonna hit play. And this should work. So as you can see here, I've got this set up, it's gonna go 15 times, I've got two per set, so 30 total. If I wanna do more, because in this case, I'm already done, um, I could do, say, five times, and that would be 75 total. Or I could do 10 times, that would be 150 total. Depending on how long your macro is, you can set this up, make sure it's running correctly, and then literally get up and walk away and do something else, uh, which is the beauty of being able to use these macro recorders. You can multitask, you can work, and this runs it for you. Uh, and again, in future videos, I will show you how I apply the current macro that I have here. I call this the Laptop 5 Browsers Ad Click. So it actually cycles through videos, watches them, clicks on ads, and then refreshes the page, clears out all the cookies, clears out the view history, uh, and actually does work. And I'll show you metrics that support it, how it works as well. Uh, this is great for YouTube. It's great for other things like TikTok. Uh, it's great for Facebook. Um, a variety of different channels it can be applied to once you understand the dynamics behind how the website works and then how to use a database like Excel or Sheets to move information around, find that information, and then open up the files that you want to open. So you can see here I finished this. And I'm going to hit Control E to end the macro. And we're good to go. So again, if you like this video, Please like it, please add comments, please subscribe, share it to your friends. This technology is very simple, but when applied with the right dynamics and the right framework can be very, very powerful. And it can go on for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. You can have multiple computers or you can have multiple operating systems through virtual systems running simultaneously on, a, on, on, on several different functions and get so much work done get so much accomplished, even when you go to bed at night. And so that's where we coined the phrase, work while you sleep. We want you to be productive. We want you to grow your social media accounts. We want you to grow your systems without having to do any work whatsoever. One click and you're good to go. So please help us support this initiative. We need these videos to go viral so we can continue making them and help you save time and make money on your end. All right, thanks so much.